little back with my to left, y'all ready to see what we got going on here? I told y'all I'm gonna bring the R6 back to the channel, which I'm gonna be doing a quick mod today. So we're gonna do a quick start up, we're gonna do a quick ride around, and then we gonna get to business. Real talk, no rock, what? Guys, motion, don't point me Back! You know, you know what I'm saying? So whatever. We in for a quarter, people. <laughs> See the little details, all custom out. We got the joke because shit ain't a joke. So this lined up here on the Gucci cardboard, as y'all can see. So we can get this mod started. If y'all don't know what this is, people, gotta lift the bike up on the bike stand. Let's get it up on the stand. Get it out, people. All right, there we go, people. So what are we gonna be doing today? We will be swapping out the Tilly windscreen, as y'all can see right here. Um, we got the Chameleon. But it's not a game, people. The Chameleon. So we will, we will be putting the Chameleon style, and if y'all kind of look from the side, right? Look at the side of the bike. You know, it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit with the rim. It's gonna hit with the color because we got that multicolor blue purple going on. All right, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Let me get my tools. Let me get myself ready. And I will be back for the install. All right, YouTube. Real quick before we get into this install, I wanna introduce y'all to the box Chevy that matched the bike. The bike matched the box Chevy and the back Chevy matched the bike. Y'all see the color combo? Y'all see what I got going on here with the channel? Let's see what I got going on here. We got the fully customized box shed, right? Dumber. Dumber because the front looks dumber. Now hold on, let me show you guys back. This is cold. Right? Look at the back of the box Chevy Caprice Classic. That looks dumb. As the code says, dumb. All right, we'll get back to the install. So basically it had one, two, three, four plastic screws. Took that out, gotta raise this up. Let's go on the other side and start to get this up. All right, YouTube, so we remove the windscreen. So this is how the R6 look without a windscreen. I think it look pretty cool. 
What you think now, folks? It's like a street fighter bike, right? Get them that look, man. It look like a straight street fighter. You know I mean? No windscreen. It look radical. It look like it's about to end that business. For real. So this is basically what the R6 look like without the windscreen. Pretty cool. All right, but well, other than that, let's get back to business. So basically, YouTube, what I had to do, I had to loosen these nuts right here for the mirror, right? So basically, I could wedge the, um, the windscreen in. So let's get this install completed, done, give y'all the final look for fourth quarter of what we're doing. So let's put my lights over here so I can get a good view of what's going on. All right, so y'all already know the windscreen. So let's line the windscreen up, YouTube. All right, so we're gonna line it up. We got little slots right here. We're gonna line it up cool. So that's in, right? So now, as I said, I had to loosen up the mirrors so it could kind of fall in place into here like that. And let's go on the other side. Same way. Push it down into here like that. All right, so let's push it down a little bit and see how everything possibly line up. And I don't really have a good line up on this side, so let's see what's going on here. And actually, no, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pre-game it with the plastic screws, All right? So let's get this part lined up and inside, right? Now all the way. Let's get that in. So at least that part is basically lined up. got this side. So we all know this part right here is lined up correctly. All right? Just put in a little bit more tight. Now we just, as I said, we're gonna just push this in a little bit as it's in. And we gotta do the same thing for the other side. All right? Make sure it's actually in here. So basically it's in here. So what I'm gonna do, do two, a little pressure down on it and let's get it let me actually loosen it up a little bit more and then I don't think it could do better than this so it's actually sitting in the seat and I got my wrench and what size is this wrench you two this is a size 10 so just gonna button this up real quick I'm so excited for this because you know I didn't ride this bike for the year. I rode it maybe like two times for the year. So I'm motivated with my bike build again. And we will be modifying this bike a hundred percent on this channel. I didn't forget about my bike. Um it was just a minor setback because we was in what season? Box Chevy season. So now, since you know, season is changing. It's actually getting cold outside. We're gonna double back to the, the R6 build and we're gonna um, mod it out. And that's what we're gonna do. So let me see if I can get my hand in here. This is like a little funny angle. Right here. I need to be using a ratchet. Tighten this up. This is a mess of angle here, beautiful, for the wrench. Ooh, it's loose, so I can maybe catch it with my hand. And let's try to catch it with the wrench. One more turn. That's that. And then basically we're just gonna get the filter. Tighten this up. So 
How much is these plastic screws could do? Now tell me what y'all think. It's a go or it's not a go. Alright, you can put more of Took me like what 15 minutes. Now not long. Let's make sure this is nice and tight and snug. You can tell me what you think. And I can tell you something. What I noticed from this aftermarket, basically windscreen, I have a gap right here. I'm gonna show y'all, look. I'm gonna show y'all there's a gap, I noticed. So you see the gap right here in the windscreen? So you know when you do aftermarket parts, and this part is a little bit closer, but that's the, that's the deal with aftermarket parts, you too. So you too. What y'all think? And you dim the lights a little bit. What y'all think? Is it hitting or is it hitting? What you think now? I'm going to get an honest opinion. One to ten. 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 Is it go? Yeah. It's a go. So YouTube is a straight go. So we did that quick mod. Real quick for y'all. Right? And y'all know what time it is, YouTube. It's go time. Let's um let's get this back into position where it's at and let's go for a ride. So y'all wanna go for a ride with me, YouTube? Let's go for a ride, man. Why not, man? That's what it's about, man. It's about the channel is about having fun. You know? Having fun. You know what I mean? Because we got the GTA box Chevy, which is fun. Y'all play GTA people. We got GTA 6 coming out. Or is GTA 6 coming out or it came out already? It's coming out. They came out with the um, trailer. They came out with the trailer? Yeah, but they And you know what's going to be in the trailer? It'd be funny if the GTA box Chevy is in the trailer. Right? That'd be dope, right? Yeah. But you know what's funny? They ain't paying me, so don't use me. Yeah. All right, you control. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all how it's hit. Look at this. I'm going to line it up together. Tell me what y'all think, man. I'm going to line it up together. Look. Let's line it up together. Come on, man. Come on, man. Tell me this ain't like a, a match made in heaven. Come on, man. Look at that. Look at that. Dude. Come on, man. Come on, YouTube. I see what this is motivation, baby. I ain't trying to do nothing but motivate y'all, you know what I mean? Get them bikes out, get them box Chevys out, get them sports cars out. Let's do it, man. We in fourth quarter, man. We definitely, we definitely fourth quarter. Definitely. <laughs> See how I had the yellow lights, right? You see the yellow lights on the bike, right? I'm gonna show you something. We be right back.